right. Well, yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, okay. So let's go in and uh, do this. All right, Francis, a.k.a. Tritzy, back in the building. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Okay. How you doing? How you doing? How I'm, you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. So you decided to reach out to me and um and you 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 decided to come with some good news that you and your family uh recently brought a trucking school correct all right so before we get into all of that I know I talked to you before, so guys, go and check her out, Tritzy. But you, you, you are, or still is, a truck driver, right? To the day I take my last breath. Okay, okay. So, all right. So, you know, give us a little bad story so we can catch up to, you know, catch up to where we at with the truck, uh, with the trucking school. Okay, many, many moons ago, a man and a woman met and they created me. Oh, God damn. So, <laughs> we, we, we didn't need to go uh, that damn far. <laughs> we didn't have to go all the so, way back in the time. <laughs> but seriously, though, my father has been a trucker for us even before I was born. And he planted the seed, planted the seed little did I know, when I was about 11 years old. Mm -hmm. Um... Many years have passed, and I think by the time I made 22 years of age, I decided, you know what, I need to take a different direction in my life. You know, going through life as we all do with the ups and downs, ins and outs, things like that. Mm -hmm. So I said, let me just see what this trucking life is about. Okay. So I went to school, and um, my instructors were awesome. I'm from Nebraska, background, background on that. Um, so this all started in Nebraska. So I went to school, um, almost did not stay, but my instructors turned out to be amazing. And I stayed and graduated top five in my class, specialty backing. Um, but in those areas, in those times, this was, we we're talking 98, um, in Nebraska, no company would hire me as a woman. So... I went through a hundred or so no's before I got my first yes. Mm -hmm. And my first yes was driving flatbeds, moving, hauling heavy equipment, which was amazing. I refused to let anybody else tell me no from that point on. So moving forward, fast forward into when I moved to the state of Illinois in 2005, um, I went to work for a truck driving school and became an instructor. Um, loved every minute of it. Uh, can't complain. It gave me my opportunity to give back to, um, to everyone that I came in contact with at the school to what was given to me. So I paid it forward and it paid off. Awesome. I've driven, yeah, I've driven everything from whew, dry van refrigerated units, flat beds, uh, uh, goosenecks, double decks, um, tankers. I love tankers. Tankers is my favorite. Always have been and always will be. Um, I've did, I've driven doubles and I have not tried triples or car haulers. I just don't want to. <laughs> but um, fast forward from there, uh, being a instructor for the last 17 years, I'm still currently an instructor. And um, overall, I've been in the business about, what, 24 years or so. So trucking's in my DNA. I love everything about it. Uh, our main and primary goal is safety, 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 and everything else comes after that. All right. So with... With all that said, man, that that, that was a lot to get, uh, to get caught up. So, you in twenty in twenty twenty two decided to start your own trucking school, and correct. Where where did where where did that 
where where did that pop in your head as far as you wanted to, you know, start your you know start a school? So I'm going to tell you how God works. And I know a lot of people know this, have experienced this and things of that nature. I'm a firm believer to the core that everything happens for a reason. So being in the world of trucking for so many years, as I stated earlier, is part of my DNA. And I love teaching other people how to successfully start a new career in their lives in the world of trucking. Now, um, when the pandemic came around, it helped to cultivate and, and, and bring out the woodwork, tons of creativeness and tons of people all over the world, as we see all over Facebook and Internet and things like that. And my thought process was, well, I was still working. I was still driving at the point at that point because we were essential. So um, people realize when everything pretty much stops, trucking never stops. Law enforcement, first responders never stop, and the medical field never stops. So they decided once they lifted the ban on us being staying inside in uh, places closed and things like that, we received the fluctuation, overflow, abundance of students wanting to get their CDL license. So that's when my family and I decided to, to find a location. We were originally looking in Bolingbrook, Illinois, which is where we live. I like Bolingbrook. Lo and behold, I, I, I like yeah. Bolingbrook, Illinois. Yeah, and, and they still want one out here, too. I, I put the feelers out everywhere, and I'm getting tons and tons and tons of responses. So I know, I know we're on the right track. So this is where I know God uh, put his stir stick in this cup of tea. So a young lady uh, that I used to work for as an instructor who had her school in Blue Island called me out of the blue after approximately a year and a half of me working there for her and wanted my assistance on advertising and things like that because they wanted to sell the school. She never knew that I was in a process. My family and I was in a process of opening the school out here. She never knew that. But God made that connection and had her call me. And I couldn't even phantom the words out of my brain before God spit them out my mouth. Sell it to me. I'll buy it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so she, she was, so this young lady was selling her school. How, how long has, Correct. how long has the school been in existence before you took over? Since 2018, so it's going into its fourth year. Okay, okay. Now, what? Now, I mean, everybody does everything for a reason. So, I hear the reason why you decided to open and buy the school. What was the reason for her to get out of it? So, what I can only go by what she told me is it became too much for her because she also is a real estate uh, investment person. So she wanted to devote full time, more time to focus on that part of her career and her life. So that is what she told me her reasons were for wanting to sell the school. Personally, I think the reason why she called me is because she knew my character and she knew how I was and she knew how I trained and she knew how trucking has been in my blood. And she really, I think she really behind the scenes wanted me to have the school now i already talked to a young lady uh she's like the first uh first uh woman of color down i forgot where it was at alabama i think i'm not sure mm -hmm. but she's like the first woman of color to open up a school down there um mm -hmm. Are you the first? Are you the first woman? Uh, uh, are you the first woman of color to to take over a school up here in the Midwest? Well, you know, I am a woman of color, and um, I don't know if any other school here or this way have a African American owner, uh, Asian uh, owner, Korean. Um, because I was adopted, I have Korean godly parents. So, okay, okay. yeah. 
So, all right. So with this school being up in Illinois, uh, wow. Let me ask you this. Is, is the school is like, is it open to everybody or are you focused on a certain gender or, or focus? Oh, no, we, we don't discriminate at all. If you want to get your CDL license, short, tall, skinny, not skinny, orange, purple, blue, green, yellow, whatever, man, woman, if you're 18 or older and you want to learn how to successfully and safely operate a commercial motor vehicle with Division Truck Driving School, that's the name of our school, please come on down. Please, we'd love to have you. And we're actually going to have an official grand opening when the weather gets warmer and a job fair all in one. All right. Awesome. Awesome. That's what's up. All right. So you just mentioned the name of the school. So go ahead, shout out the name of the school and where is it located? All right. We are Division Truck Driving School located at 11900 Division Street on the second floor in Blue Island, Illinois, 60406. Our contact phone number is 847-630-9974. Our email address is divisioncdlschool at gmail.com. And our website is www.divisiontruckdrivingschool.com. All right. All right. Division Truck Driving School out of Illinois. <laughs> yeah. Illi <laughs> Illinois, where the, where the shiesty truck drivers hang. Now, anyway. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> <We> <laughs> <don't>... <laughs> all that. Uh, all right, so let's let's get down to some logistics of of this school. So, uh, how how uh, well what's the what's the fee? How long? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got you. I already know what you want. So, you ready? I'm ready. All right. So, the cost for the CDLA training right now is thirty five hundred until the end of January. It will be forty five hundred come February first due to the changes that are coming mm -hmm. February seventh with all schools having to go federal. Now stop right there, uh, before you continue. Yes. Uh what mm -hmm. did you have to do to get your school ready for the for the uh for the guy for the new guidelines that uh that FMCSA put out? So the Secretary of State send us all the information that needs to keep us up to hold and to be uh, legally ready for that. So it was basically just getting the additional uh, information to the federal about our employees, um, our, our fleet, um, possibly even getting a DOT number, although we're a school and we're not carrying freight. But because we're going federal, we're probably going to have to run under those lines as well. Um, a different kind of uh, licenses. And the reason why they have us um, with all of our employees' information is because we are going on the mandatory drug testing. Yes. Mandatory drug testing. Now, let me ask you this. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. with, with some companies uh, that do their own drug testing, we know that urine is FMCSA uh, credential, mm -hmm. right? But uh, is do you know do you or do you know or is you going to participate with the hair follicle program or do you know if I'm FMCSA only gonna, going to do that? Yeah, uh, uh, what what the FMCSA is requiring for us to do, I will be in compliance because that's the only way I can keep my school running effectively and officially and stay open. I'm I'm going to follow all of their rules and guidelines to the letter. All right. All right. So continue. How how long is the training? So the training goes for six to eight weeks. And that all really debate, uh, depends upon how well the person retains the information and utilizes it to successfully pass their exam. They, it is possible for them to test in as little as four weeks, but not less than that. Um, right. The course. Go ahead. I'm sorry. 
Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay, so the course total, you have to have a minimum of 160 hours for our school because, again, in addition to the changes of the <laughs> of uh, the school going federal, they cut that in half to only 80 hours. Mm-hmm. We're still going to give the federal their 80, but I'm going to keep the additional 80 because, to me, a new driver needs all yeah, right. the training all that the they, training can, they get. can get. We want more safe, conscious, professional drivers on the road. Okay, go ahead with your question. All right, so question. Um, does your school, let me see, hold on right quick. Does your, does your school have uh, a driving sessions one teacher, one student, or multiple students to a truck? So let me break that down for you. The only part that's multiple students are the classroom settings for the training inside and the pre-trip training for the learning of the truck outside. Six students, one instructor. That's math. Now, for skills, it's one-on-one inside the truck because we have to have the divider in there do the CDC, COVID, that kind of stuff. So it's only the driver, the students, and the instructor in the seat for the skills. But the remainder five students are watching and observing, learning, okay? okay? For the road, one-on-one. All right, all right. So one-on-one for skills, one-on-one for the road. Six weeks, that's... um. That's that's uh that's that's pretty that's pretty decent considering how much you how much you charging uh for yes. for CDL class A because some companies like mine uh my school five thousand mm-hmm. five thousand six hundred and forty nine dollars yes. and twenty nine cents for four weeks. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That I've, part. Heard, I've heard I've heard the much the much higher, but you know why you know why we decided to cap it. At 4,500, here's why. When the students come to us that get on the, the grants and the voucher program, I would never charge more than what the government will pay for the student to come to our school. Never. All right. Now, do you do you guys train with just a sleeper or do you train with both sleeper and uh, day cabs? So as of right now, when we purchase the school, we have the two day cabs. We do not have any of the sleepers. We actually are looking for a bigger location. So I'm putting a shout out out there for anybody that know of a bigger piece of land where we can efficiently and effectively run a multiple of six trucks or more. Please reach out to us and let us know because we are really, really looking. We are outgrowing the space that we're at right now as we speak. Um, It's coming. Students are coming in droves. So we definitely need a bigger location as soon as possible. That's my shout out. Thank you if you can help. All right. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. If you guys out there in Illinois where the the Shice Detroit drivers. (laughs) <laughs> shout out to uh shout out to my girl here uh make sure you send me that information so i can put it in the description as well and uh yes we it can, is uh, in truck driving school yeah, yep we can we can uh in we blue can, island we can get that out for you um hold on mm-hmm. all right all right so what the new what what the new um uh, with the new government regulations coming into play, uh, which mm-hmm. makes which makes more schools more accountable, would you would you agree with me on that? Uh, absolutely, as we should be. All right, now let's talk about let's talk about this new thing that the government just recently did. They 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 open it up for for 18, 17, 18. Now they can. From what I from what I can understand, they can they can go across state lines now. Um, uh, what's, mm-hmm. what 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 is your what is your thoughts on that? Because we we have a whole bunch of social media ites people that think that it's a good idea, and there's a lot of truck drivers such as myself that thinks that it's an okay idea, but 
what you be in the school and you are training uh mm-hmm. students as young as 18 what, mm-hmm. what what is your what is your overall feeling about about them going across state lines here is my thought process and i'm gonna give it to you 100 percent. i believe everybody can be taught and trained how to do something safely if we can give them a license at 16 to drive a car right and treat them and, and show them and instruct them how to be as safely as possible then my thought on teaching them also by them, I'm just talking the younger age, what you said, they said 17, 18, yeah, that kind eight, of thing. Yeah, 18. <clears throat> so 18 is already there. We've already been uh, training 18 year olds and uh, for learning how to drive the semi tractor trailer. Now, as far as I understood, they can drive within their state. They cannot drive out of state until they're 21. But they 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 changing that now, so they can't so drive. Yeah, they can't. Well, they, I'm I'm not sure if it's etched in stone, but it's a lot, a lot, a lot of talk on it, and and <laughs> I'm I'm not sure if it's like if if it's like a done deal or something like that. But it's a lot of talk about uh, young truck drivers being able to go inter interstate <laughs> instead of intra state. But correct, and I. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, oh, I'm I'm sorry. But I I was going to say that my feelings on it is yeah, you know, I got my license at the age of 16, of course. You know, mm-hmm. but I I was still a I was still a dumbass driver though. I I I mean drivers at at 18, you know, mm-hmm. maybe if they just drive like local or something like that like maybe a pepsi truck coca-cola truck beer truck something like that they can't drive no beer truck they're not 21 oh okay well (laughs) coca-cola truck um i'm i'm just thinking that driving something of this magnitude takes a little bit more how can i say a little bit more mature maturity yeah yeah, that's that's what I think. I and I so and, and, and shout out to you know to the to the young ones that that came before us, you know, yeah. with the fathers teaching them and the, and coming up, you know, shout out to them, but I'm we we talking about we talking about millennials here. We talking about I, I, we, we we talking about them. We're not talking about old schoolers. We talking about the millennials now. So so I understand it. Let me just say this. <clears throat> Being that the schools are now going to be held more accountable for the students that they uh, put out there on the road, one, it is up to us as their trainers to give them absolutely every single tool that they need to learn, to train, to pass successfully their CDL license exam, and to carry that on even further into their careers, knowing that we did not release anyone that would not be safe. Now, trucking isn't for everybody. I don't care what your age is, right? Mm-hmm. So, if the 16-year-olds or the 17-year-olds or the 18-year-olds or the 19-year-olds want to get their city a license, they can come to the school, get the proper training, the safe training. And if we see and they feel it has to be a joint effort that they can do it or they're not ready. That's both of our call because I'm not going to tell you you're not ready. I'm just going to tell you you're not ready right now. I'm just going to tell you why I see you're not ready at this point. What is it that you're that's not clicking with you? Help you get that to click however long it takes. But I'm going to leave it up to you, the person that's paying to come to the school to realize for yourself, because you know yourself better than I ever will. In your mind, in your heart of heart, in your soul of soul, yes, you can, or no, you can't. You're going to be the one to have to shut that down, but I'm not going to let you on the road until you are capable 
to do it safely and correctly. I'm not going to stop anybody from trying. I'm not going to stop anybody from want, that wants to learn how to do it. If the rules apply and allow for them to come to our school at that age, then come on. We're welcoming you with open arms because I look at it both ways. We have some people up in age that are not very good drivers, right? And we have some people that are. We have some young adults, young people that are very good drivers and some that are not. Everybody is different. I can't judge anybody until I see what they know how to do and if they see if I see they know how to learn what is being taught correctly to them. All right, all right. So for the young so for the young cats that's that's coming into the uh, industry. Uh, of course, is there going to be is is there going to be a little bit more? What do you think? It's going to be a little bit more uh, focused, extensive training. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. They will get the exact same as everybody else does. If they need extra, then they will get extra. Because some people, you'd be surprised, their minds are so, are so sharp, you know what I mean, that they can pretty almost, and I've seen it, they can pretty almost, I don't know, like a photographic memory, sort of, pick mm-hmm. up on these things and, and just do it. And once they got it, all they have to do is, is perfect it. Wow. Because at our school, we don't just do the pre-trip, the skills, the road, no. That's just the basics to help you pass an exam with the Secretary of State to get your license. We carry it further. We're working through the learning how to read an atlas. We're learning, working through learning how to do your trip planning. We're working through knowing how to do and where to do your 10-hour reset. We're, learning, we're teaching how to successfully pack and prepare yourself for being an over-the-road driver. We're teaching and we're training all of these things, like how to do your ELD, how to, all of these things that have to do with trucking, those are the extras that we're giving to our students. That's the plan that we're putting into place as we speak with that, because we don't want them to just pass the test. We want them to go into the world of trucking with whatever company they choose to go to, already having a a knowledge base on everything that's going to be more effectively trained on with the company. All right. Division trucking. Ugh, I, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, whew, I'm enjoying this man. Division <laughs> trucking Academy or school. D- 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 Division truck driving school. Division truck driving school up in Illinois. So, since you, Blue Island. Blue Island, Illinois. So since you took over, how, how was your um uh what, what, I'm, I, the word leaves me, but I it, it'll come back to me in a minute. But what uh your tuition, how how has your tuition uh you know since you took over? So so I can break it down for you. As I stated, it is uh thirty five hundred right now, and we allow you to make payments actually. So you don't have to pay it all at once if you if you can't afford to do that. We break okay. it down for you. Okay. Um, and again, as I stated, February first it will go up to forty five hundred. Same right. thing. You can make payments on that. Um, for the six to eight week course, which averages to one hundred and sixty hours, it is Monday through Friday. We have four hour shifts. First shift is from eight a.m. to twelve o'clock noon. Mm-hmm. Second shift. Is 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. And that's just for right now. The more we get to um, a bigger space, we'll be able to have later evening and weekend classes. But for right now, where we are right now, we need to find a bigger location for that. Okay, okay. And you're you're in the midst of uh you're in the midst of uh doing that. Friends, are you still are you still driving, or are you 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 more you one hundred percent focused into the school? So I'm definitely one hundred percent focused into into the school. I'm also one hundred percent focused into my continuing education because I'm in I'm in college also. 
And I'm also still helping some companies like um, that move containers and trailers from docks to places and things like that. Just to stay, you know, on top of my game. Because if you don't use it, you lose it, right? Right. Exactly. Exactly. Um, all right. So I've read somewhere before I let you go, and I know you're a busy lady, so thank you for taking the time out. Um, th- there was a comment in the She Trucking Trucking group. Shout out to She Trucking Trucking group. Uh, hey, hey, she trucking. Uh, somebody put in a post that they lost their per- their permit because they thought that the permit extension was for like a couple of years is that it's is is that true because i thought the permit extension was for like eight months to a year no it's no, less it's no, less than no, no. that right it is so let me take you through a scenario which actually has happened i i before we took over the school so there was a student has absolutely everything first try. <clears throat> Excuse me. Decided to celebrate, went on vacation. Did not come back or did not think he had to go and pick up his uh, license right away, his CDOA. Actually, you have a total of three days to allow the Secretary of State to put all of your information into the system. Then three business days. Let me clarify that one three business days to allow them to put your information in the system, and then two weeks, 14 days to go pick up that license. It's no month. It's no nuts. They will, it, it will go null and void. Mm. Okay, that's what's So saying. I don't, I, I, yeah, I don't really understand why people wait. You pass. Go get your stuff. That's like when you pass your road test for your car to get your driver's license. You get that right now. Right. Right. I I, I don't same, see I, I don't see why 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 the wait. Same principle. Same principle. And with the permit, now the permit is they I think they raised it to uh six months. The permit. Right. But the license, oh no, you gotta get that right away. Okay, that's what's up. All right, so France uh, Francisca? Francisca. Francis Francis, Francis Williams. Uh, Francis on on the way out the door give give uh give these new drivers that's interested in coming into the school uh tell them uh how to prepare uh you know tell them how to prepare before they even come to the school and everything what do they need to do okay, to prepare so, so here's the thing if you ever had to drive or the desire or know someone that had the drive or the desire to ever want to learn how to drive a commercial motor vehicle, please come to the Division Truck Driving School. We'll help you every step of the way to understand everything that you need to learn. All you need to bring with you when you come is your driver's license, your social security card. Uh, let us know, but do the HIPAA law. Don't tell us what it is, but let us know if you have a situation that might even stop you from getting your DOT physical card. That's important. Um you can call us at 847-630-9974 or come by the school. Our address is 11900 Division Street on the second floor in Blue Island, Illinois, 60406. Blue here Island? At Division, yes. Here at Division Church Driving School, our motto is the pros know, the rest get. All right, all right. Uh, for one last thing, damn it, man! I mm-hmm. said I was gonna let you go. My fault. One last thing. One more thing. One more okay. thing. Uh, for people, because there's a lot of them. And again, mm-hmm. shout out to the She Trucking Trucking Group. They do come yeah, in there, and trucking. they do come in there, and they ask this pivotal question. Okay. I smoke weed every day. How long? <laughs> how how long should I wait? How long should I wait before I apply for the school or I'm the trucking you, job, for that matter? I'm gonna tell everybody this: you grown. 
You know better. I don't care that it's legal to a certain extent or whatever the case may be. It's not legal in driving. Point blank, period. That is all. Oh, okay. Well, there, there you have it. <laughs> there, there, there it is. There it is. So, yeah. If you want to come in, if you want to come in the industry and driving, already should know not to be smoking. Just saying. For, uh, Francis, thank you very much for coming back on and uh, chopping it up with me. You know, anytime you need me, I am here. You want to, you want to promote something. You want to chop it up or whatever the case. Definitely, you yes, know, sir. get back at me at the Lockout Man Podcast Show because you know. The best conversations starts over here at the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Yes, sir. You are so right. And thank you so much for having us come on and talk to you about our school and helping us put the word out there. And, and we appreciate you so very much. I, I appreciate you guys uh, sharing your stories with me. I mean, it helps me helps me pass the time and everything. And, you know, it gives me a little... You know, gets keeps me intrigued and 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 gets to know you guys better. Well, thank you, thank you very much. Very so, very so. Well, there you have it, everybody. Miss Francisca, division in blue, blue water, blue, blue <laughs> division truck driving school in Blue Island, Illinois. Blue Island. There you go. Blue Island up in the Midwest. So anybody again, anybody can uh can come to your school no matter where they're located. It could be in Texas, Ohio. It is it's not just not just for the local folks. It's not just for local folks. If they're going to here want to come to the school, come on. We have the Metro a block away on one end. We have Highway 57 a block away on the other end. We have the bus that gets off almost practically in front of the school itself. So, hey, we're accessible to public transportation, all of that. No excuse. Let's get it. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. You have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you later. Yes, sir. Let's go, guys. Woo! Thank you. You're welcome. Bye.